only because if I'm disconnected from him, okay, and, and I'm over here, now I'm trying to get this across a straight line. That's tough. Or when this comes in, this is much quicker. Do I want to rely on this? No. Just because I touch this hand doesn't mean I'm not going to take that in the belly. So I want to have the backup of my primary taps right away. And I want to make sure that I have this put in to stop that from coming back on me. So if he goes one to, or if he goes five to two, I'm protected. Does that make sense? Okay. So I just want you to play one, two, three, four, five. So you can either do it this way. You can continue the same tapping progression. One, two, three, four, five. Or you can isolate the five so that he uses three hands. Okay. Now, how many knife attacks look like this? Hopefully all of them. <laughs> okay, hopefully all of them. Um, yeah, yeah, I would be amazed if somebody was like, I'm going to get you now. You know, all this is right now, this is, a this is a training methodology for beginners so they can see. We want them to get the technique. We want them to practice right now. This is not the time where we're trying to fake somebody out. Aha, I scored on you. What's the point of that, right? If they don't have the skill, of course we're going to score on them. So we don't try to fake somebody out or move at a, uh, move at a, a pace or an angle they're unfamiliar with until they have acquired the skill. Once they've acquired the skill, then you can start to do that kind of stuff to them to calibrate it, to hone the skill, to sharpen it. But when we're acquiring the skill, we want them to have an opportunity to do the technique correctly every time so they get it in the muscle memory.